Okay, well, here we are today in my dingy little man cave. Not much happening on the weekend. Um, even the even the side band's dead. Even the even six. Nothing from those super stations at all. It's just a matter. I think it was about time we got back to working on that um, power supply. Unfortunately, the first effort turned up capacitors at uh, Australia Post or perhaps International Post Company somewhere squashed in transit. Every single bloody one. So, useless. Um, I was told, I contacted the seller and, and they're going to replace them, but that's no good for me. Mm -hmm. Right now, anyway. So, I contacted a local company, Wheeltronics, down there in uh, Ballarat, and they sent me premium price, but premium service. They sent me exactly the capacity that I needed. Okay, well, we've put those four um, thousand microfarad, sixteen volt capacitors in. They're from a manufacturer called Hitano in Japan. Um, probably not as well known as as your other Japanese brands, but still a good brand, and they are low ESR, ESR rated as well. Now, unfortunately, they're, they're just a fraction too big, so I've actually had to use insulated sleeving to stand off the end one and uh, I've cable tied it for drain relief as well off of the um, wiring in the side another thing I should mention and it it nearly it nearly stuck me right up the let's see if you can see it in there the fuse down here it's actually blown so when I reassembled for the first time and went to do a test, it wouldn't power up and I couldn't just think what I'd done wrong. So I went over on my work again, checked all the soldering and um, it was fine. And I thought, you know, the simplest thing and I didn't check it. And when I did check it, it was open circuit. So anyway, 8 amps it was and the biggest I had on hand was 5. So I put a 5 amp in there just to get me up and running and I'll uh, probably have to order something online. The only major problem I had with this was the uh, having to relieve the mother sorry having to relieve the um, the brackets for these heat sinks down the bottom because this this capacitor here this ROH capacitor it's um just a slightly bit wider, just a slight bit wider than the um, original and uh, just to make room so it would fit and I had to, t had to uh, take some metal work off. Other than that, it was pretty straightforward. So complete recap, new capacitors, new fuse and um, yeah, now I can show you the results of the test and we'll actually do a um a load loading test as well for the 12 volt line okay moment of truth the green and the adjacent black pen 
the green and the adjacent um, black wire have been jumping, so the fan will spin up. Okay, what sort of voltages are we looking at? Three point three. Hmm. To test the loadability of this uh, power supply, we're going to use a hundred watt um, H four ferric H three. Halogen bulb, automotive bulb. Yep, well that's certainly powering it alright. And cooking the wood in the process. <laughs> I'd say that was a successful fix. 